what up everybody in today's video just going to be how i make my wigs so first you're going to take this cap now i'm using a dome cap you can use whatever type of cap you prefer but for me this works because i kind of got a big head so a dome cap is your best option you can do a regular one or a mesh one whatever works so you see those two lines that's kind of like your guideline for where you want your closure to sit now it's gonna fall off it's not gonna fall off what I mean is it's not gonna be completely lined up to those lines but that's kind of where you want to center it at so if you had a new closure it would overlap off the cap but since I already cut the lace I just sewed mine onto just to the end of the cap and caught it a day and then we're going to take some t-pins and t-pin the back and the other side you don't want to t-pin the side that you're going to be working on so yeah so yeah you can see i take a, it took me a while to get the closure how i wanted to position it because just once you start ain't no going back well you can't go back but honestly it's not no going back so i did have a a plastic bag underneath because I was using hot glue to glue down my bundles so I didn't want the actual hair to be inside the cap because on my mannequin head it has hair on side on the mannequin head so yeah but I would say maybe you should just forget the plastic bag because that get, did get stuck inside my um wig cap but anyway back to this so you see that line like you can see the demarcations of where you need to sew this down so you want to sew it one side at a time don't go around and sew the whole thing in a u shape you show you sew this side down first and then you go ahead to the other side so if you're doing your right side first you go to your left and then you go to your back and then that's just how you sew it down this is because you want the closure to lay as flat as possible obviously you don't want it to be lumpy and all that weird stuff so you want to sew it down from one side to the other side and then to the back and then your closure will lay flat
that's what I love to do. And then once you get this going through the thread, line the two up, if you can see, you line it up. And then, uh, I don't know. So on the uneven, you just line them up. And then you just tie it around your finger, tie it around here, pull it through, and there you go. Thread is in the needle. You ready to start back sewing that last? Here comes how we're going to be gluing this wig down so i'm not sewing down the bundles because i really wanted to try a new method so i tried the hot glue method and you can start this from the back you don't have to start it from the closure all the way to the other side of the closure i just did it like this because i mean i've seen so many people do it this way and youtube is your best friend when it comes to this just don't rely on my video watch other videos as well like when i make my wigs i watch at least five or more videos or everybody else videos before I make my wig because I need to be sure of what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm just gluing the uh, the track onto the cap. And I put the glue on the cap instead of putting it on the track. Now, sometimes I do, do go in and put the glue on the track instead of putting it on the cap. But for the most part, I just put the glue on the cap and just stuck the track down, if you can see. So, this is a really good hot glue gun i don't know where i got it from i think we got it from menards or somewhere i don't know i'll put it in the description box because you're gonna need something like this like that walmart hot glue gun is not gonna work baby you're gonna need something that i got it's super high temperature it's bomb enough about the hot glue gun because it's just a hot glue gun and i'm pretty sure anyone could work but yeah so i'm just going to be gluing it all the way around like i said and when i get to the part where you see like my other side of my closure. I guess I does the flip over method because I don't cut my tracks. Just in case I ever wanted to go in and reuse these tracks for something else. So that's why I personally don't cut my tracks. I just flip them over. And it's pretty easy to flip it over too. It's not hard and your wig won't come out bulky either. If you're thinking like if I flip it over, it's not going to be flat. Yes, my wig still lays flat even with me flipping it over. And I do flip it over all the way until I get close to the top of the wig and then that's when I started cutting my tracks because up there I mean you gotta cut your tracks I mean you don't have to but I would pref prefer to cut them so it can be very flat at the top as well but when I'm working my way up my wig is getting flipped over the, the weave is getting flipped over I'm not doing no cutting because that's extra work so y'all can clearly see how I'm about to do this. But that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just repeating the steps. Just continue gluing the tracks on, on, and on. And sometimes I space it out. Now you can space it out or you can do it very tight together. Whichever works for you. Whatever you prefer. Make it work for you, boo. If you only got a couple, two bundles, make that shit work. Like I only had two bundles, so I had to make this work. Gluing it, gluing it, uh huh. We gonna be gluing it, gluing it, gluing it, gluing it, uh huh. We gonna be gluing it, gluing it, gluing it, gluing it. Oh my God, I'm so. Gluing it, gluing it, uh huh. We gonna be gluing it, gluing it, gluing it, gluing it, uh huh. We gonna be gluing it, gluing it, gluing it. So this is how the wig color is looking. Y'all see this color though? Get into the color, y'all. It's green, it's blue. We got a little bit of some type of blonde in it too still. But look at this color. Okay, so as you can see, I was gluing it in the U shape, and that's the way that you want to continue to do it. Now, I'm going to show y'all in my next clip how I messed up the wig, but for now, I was doing it the correct way. The correct way is to follow that U shape, or you can do it how I did it right there, but the best thing is to do the U shape or, you know, do a horizontal. Don't do that other stuff that I was doing in the next clip, because now I have to restart the top of my wig again so i'm gonna come back on with my last video with this hair and showing y'all how i'm gonna fix 
my fuck ups that I did with this wig. And then I'm going to review the whole entire wig and show y'all the whole finished thing. But right now, this is the way that I should have continued this wig all the way through. And I did not. I don't know where my head was at when I did what I did. But it wasn't in the right place because I messed up the wig. And like I said, I'll come on and do my last final video on this wig and on this hair and all that good stuff and then that is it so yes you getting three videos today it is christmas merry christmas to all you guys so i'm trying to bless y'all with some videos i'm trying to flood y'all i'm trying to get back on my game all right are y'all ready for the fuck up because my life is a mess and i don't do things right look at this so i was like oh let me stop doing a u-shape and go ahead and do these like measures from side to side and then the back yes honey i did that you know how you glue i mean you sew down your closure from that side from the right side to the left side and then to the back yes my dumb ass did that with this i wasn't sewing though i was gluing so i start stop doing a u-shape and start gluing like that like girl i'm gonna zoom in and everything because y'all gotta see how i fucked this wig up I feel so bad for myself because look what I did. Do not do what I'm doing in this clip. I just want to show y'all that everybody makes mistakes. And this is one mistake that I fucking regret because this wig could have been great. And now I got to redo the top of my head because, honey, this is not acceptable. Like, I don't know who would do this or why I did it. But do not do your wig like this. Please don't because you will be messed up. Like, can y'all just see how bad this looks? So basically, like I said, I did from side to side, and then I went to the back. And then when the back was kind of already full, couldn't put nothing there, I stopped doing that and went from side to side to side and closed that shit up. And when I tell you that shit looked ridiculous, it looked like a goddamn fool. Like, I looked like a fucking fool doing this on this video. And I was so angry at myself because, like, I'm better than this. Why would I do my wig like this? Oh, let me stop talking down on myself, y'all. But just know, when I fix this shit, a bitch is going to be slaying, so y'all don't even got to worry, but don't do what I'm doing here. Just learn from me. Don't make your wig like this, boo. You can use the hot glue method, but do not, when you get to the top of your wig, do some crazy ass shit like this. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to show y'all the finished look, and obviously I'm going to come on and talk to do this, this, and that, but don't do your wig like this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And without it messing up, it would have been a great freaking wig, y'all. It would have been a, one of the best wigs I have made. So, I finished the wig, obviously. You can see right here. The hair is actually really bomb. I can't believe it. But, I'm trying to get it flat. And I can't do that yet because it's not working. My hands turn blue.